The biggest fight in UFC history ended in absolute chaos. Prominent UFC figures, fans and journalists weighed in on the controversy. But is the outpouring of criticism against Habib Nurmagomedov, the Muslim Dagestani native, fair play or the symptom of a racist double standard? This is renowned writer Talha Abdel Razik's take on it. After Habib submitted Conor McGregor in the fourth round, Conor's training partner Dylan Dennis hurled abuse at the reigning champion, calling him a quote, Muslim rat. The Russian fighter shocked the world by jumping over the cage in parkour-like fashion and starting a brawl with Conor's team. Conor, who is still recovering from the ground and pound, threw a punch at Habib's entourage. Shortly after, he was attacked by two of Habib's teammates. Both men and their teams were later escorted out of the building as the violence spread amongst rival fans. In the post-fight presser, Habib acknowledged his misconduct and apologized for his behavior. But this was definitely not the first unsportsmanlike conduct in this bitter rivalry. In April 2018, McGregor attacked the UFC bus that Habib was in before his championship bout. The Irishman went as far as throwing a metal dolly through the bus window, causing harm to fellow fighters. But McGregor was let off the hook by the UFC and ordered to perform five days of community service. Despite the intense media criticism, the scenes were later used in the promotion for the Habib McGregor fight. Even more controversial were UFC promoter Dana White's comments. He initially condemned McGregor, but went on to justify and downplay what McGregor did by stating, this is just the kind of guy the Irish fighter is. McGregor had claimed that Habib and his team had slapped one of his team members, Artem Lobov. But video evidence tells another story. In the lead up to the fight, McGregor added insult to injury by going after Habib's origins, family and religion. He went after the Dagestani people's history of persecution. He insulted Habib's father for having ties with the Chechen leader Ramazan Kadyrov. He mocked his religious belief by offering him alcohol and calling him a backward. I never knew. You're mad backwards. He continued his Islamophobic rant by calling his manager Ali Abdul Aziz a quote terrorist rat. Ali Abdul Aziz, my terrorist, terrorist sneak. And even linking him to the 9 11 attack. This wasn't the first time McGregor used violent intimidation and racism as part of his game. He has in the past taken belts off opponents, he's thrown water bottles at pressers, and made inexcusable racist comments. Despite his behavior, McGregor has been championed by the UFC as a great performer, showman, champion, and even compared him to the likes of Muhammad Ali. Meanwhile, Habib's behavior is vilified as someone who has completely let down UFC fans' expectations of a champion. The drama now continues with the Nevada State Athletic Commission starting an investigation into the post-fight role. It has withheld Habib's fight purse while McGregor got paid. Also due is a decision by the UFC with regards to Habib's belt and his potential suspension. But the question remains, can Habib's actions be compared to those of McGregor? And if so, is there truly a discriminatory double standard in the sport and the ensuing media hype?